So if you're following me lately, you know that I was in search for a monitor that basically checks all the boxes I needed and also lies in the budget range in which I was searching for. Well, guess what? The search is over. Hello guys, I'm Samba Cleolio and yes, I did choose a monitor for myself and keeping in mind what budget I had, this might seem a bit different choice but different, not bad. So say hi to LG 25UN65 or just 25 inch ultra wide monitor by LG. <laughs> So if you're not sure what an ultra wide monitor is, it's basically a monitor with an aspect ratio of 21 by 9, which you might have seen in cinema screens. So this particular one is a 25 inch ultra wide 1080p monitor. This is perfect size for my desk, but you can also get it for 29 inches and 34 inches. But before I go too deep, let's just look around the monitor first. So the base, which was very easy to install, just needed screwdrivers to get it together. Well, it is nothing really something to get excited about. Does the job still a bit wobbly when the monitor is adjusted, but not a big deal. And unfortunately, it is made up of glossy plastic. As a matter of fact, the whole monitor, except for the screen, is glossy, which makes it super prone to fingerprints and small scratches, which I'm definitely not a fan of. So on the back, below the LG logo, we have the VESA mount, so obviously it is VESA compatible. And then below that we have the eye of the monitor. Starting from the left, the monitor has VGA port, DVA port, two HDMI ports, audio ports for headphone and audio in, and obviously the power pinpoint. And luckily there is no external power socket, so there is one less thing to worry about. So on the bottom we have a single toggle and that's how you'll communicate with the monitor. It's very interesting and I'll tell you about that in a bit. Below that we have a LED and then on the both sides of the toggle you'll get the speakers which are loud than I expected it to be. I won't be using it that much but it definitely gives a good output although it has a bit small stage but I have no complaints. So the toggle at first confused the hell out of me but honestly I didn't really need to read any manual on how it works. I understood it very easily still working on getting used to it though. But it definitely is not at all a bad idea and I'm feeling very positive about its implementation. The whole monitor is not slim but it definitely is not thick. It is perfectly balancing between both of them. Okay, a bit thicker than that but doesn't really bother me that much. Except the fact that it is a bit heavy weighing around 4 kilos. But but but. All this box will obviously swoosh away cause you are mostly going to use it in a stationary setup which doesn't require a lot of movement. Everything covered, um, yeah, so onto the display itself. So as I've told you that this is a 25 inch 1080p monitor, but its native resolution is 2560 by 1080p pixels, which means that it will have more horizontal pixels. So there might be chances of pixelation, not much, a little bit, well maybe, but I haven't encountered any yet, which is a good sign. The UM65 sports an IPS panel between these respectively thin bezels, so definitely it will work superbly for color correction work, like picture or video editing, and it does. But what makes it even better is that it has a 99% color accuracy, fantastic. Now what I want to highlight here that the video editing on this monitor has been an amazing experience. As it has a wider screen, I get more space on the timeline which makes getting work done easier. So for all the gamers beginning out there, this monitor is a solid choice as it has a respectable response time of 5 milliseconds but the experience of gaming on this is way too good. Like most of the PC titles right now support ultra wide aspect ratio so the game gets more immersive. Believe me, it really gets hard to get back to a normal size screen. I really felt being in the game as most of my viewing angle was covered by this. Now most people say that ultra wide displays have really bad color leak or bad dynamic range or, or, or contrast ratio. So for that I would love to say that's not at all the case here. The color and the dynamic range are on point and the blacks get quite deep in the screen. So there are pretty good number of advantages of having an ultra wide screen. Out of which I have told some earlier. Now as this is the aspect ratio of a cinema screen, obviously playing movies on this screen would give the same effect. So goodbye black bars on top and bottom of the movie which were present in a traditional screen. And it makes any movie look even better. 
Then as you have more horizontal space here, you can easily use more than a single card without wasting any space inside it. Now LG has cleverly provided a software which you can download. It basically lets you divide the screen into different parts and they have quite a bit of options here. This can be very handy a lot of times when you are multitasking and I personally love this feature. But nothing is perfect and so isn't this one, getting some good chunky flaws. Like watching movies on the screen is definitely immersive but the problem? Anything apart from that. That is the traditional widescreen content on YouTube, Netflix, any TV series or even when playing games on your connected console. You will get black bars on both sides which happens a lot of time cause there are very less ultra wide content out there. Another thing that makes it worse is that some of the ultra wide content out there have black bars hard set on top and bottom keeping only the widescreen in mind. This results in letterboxing around the video and it doesn't look good at all. But luckily it can be made to fit the screen with the help of extensions like ultra wide video and ultra wide display aspect ratio for Netflix. These work most of the time and solve the problem with ease. Ok so this is the LG 25UM65, a really good option if you're looking to enter into the ultra wide market. I chose this monitor cause I really do a lot of productive work like picture or video editing so the added vertical space really helps. And I'm really planning to start gaming so an ultra wide view will just make things better. So this was perfect for me plus it will make my setup look much, much more dope. Surely it is a bit pricey cause ultra wide monitors are still new to the market but I'm still pretty happy choosing this monitor. That's all for this review so thank you for watching. If you guys like this video drop a like down below or if you have any questions be sure to ask me in the comment section down below and subscribe if you want to stay updated on my coming reviews or gaming. I'm Samir Bakhtiolio and I'll catch you guys later.